Mission to Timber at all. Pudge. You may now. No, it will be that pudge. Oh, oh, oh nice. Pudge. Most likely. Unless they're being yep. real crazy. Liquid, Liquid, of course, had their choice of teams, and they chose LGD. Big mistake. It might be a big mistake, because this is a squad that they have not beat since the Singapore Major. You know, it's been a long time since this org has gotten a win. Sure, they've gotten some ties here or there, but even recently, Avery, they lost at this last TI to LGD in the groups, and they lost, most recently, at Dream League to this team. That's exactly what I was referring to. All of those stats... Or why? Liquid? Oh, I thought you meant LGD. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if LGD's there quite yet, but... No, this is a very interesting matchup. I, I think it is interesting Liquid end up picking LGD, but I think a lot of it is Liquid are very confident they're going to just decimate him in the first 10 minutes. Like, that's got to be part of it, right? Sure. Uh, I mean, maybe there's some other mental factors. Liquid, you know, talking to these guys, they also sure tend to an initiation for Liquid. But it is a 0-0 zero -zero game. It is. First blood and it may even be first blood in the top lane as Zai is going to be run down here. The fleshy blocking a lot of this damage, but they can just keep on putting it in. And Wayu Smile is going to be the recipient of all that extra gold. That's that Riptides with the Marana right clicks and Vanguard delivered to his corpse, but not in time to save him. I mean, bro, he's a hit. Now, meanwhile, Insania was not there in lane, in part because he was looking to be able to gank the Primal Beast, so this may be a fair trade-off in some ways. Yeah, I know it's the, the big first blood goal. That feels great, but still. The Emperor get gone on, and 7-minute Wisdom Rune. LG do not want to give this up to Boxy here. Yeah, Boxy might just get both the Wisdom Rune and a kill. See if he's able to isolate him long enough. I guess nothing to say. He got his trample on through, and he does manage to grab it. Nothing to say. Gets here. And should be able to help get the kill. Box is going to go for the deny on the Ancients, but the Pulverize and Blast Off will ensure there is no chance. The Pudge eventually is just going to kick Sheer out of top. And they are not winning those mid battles straight up. And if they have the vision of you sitting behind, then they can go to another side lane confident. But they do get an arrow kill off of that one, trading out with the Marana. The old Grease, the Ember Spirit. Yeah, seriously. The Grease Man Nisha. Finally got their hands on him. The blast off. Oh no, the slice got off just in time. That surely would have been a kill. Look how low Nisha is, but instead Nisha could turn around, pump some damage in, and nothing to say. Ensure that they do manage to get that kill. And now it looks like Planet is going to be traded out for Boxy. So, uh, big advantage for Liquid. Just slightly off the mark there. Oh, it's not me, it's the kids. It's the kids that are wrong. Yes, I overstepped, maybe. Yeah, I tried to go for the dismember. Gets pulverized instead. Blast off combo, but he is tanky, man. He is really not putting up with this oh at God. all. Hooks back in, nothing to say, and he will die. Mew just all inning for Zai. Now gets him with the Harpy Lightning, but it's a one for two. Mickey, the recipient of a double kill. That has got to feel good for Liquid, and they're even going to find Planet, though Moonlight Shadow will probably get him away. I doubt these heroes have them. Oh, are you going to try and go on Zai again? Yeah, they do have some reinforcements, so Nisha's going to show up. Slight chains onto the two supports. Insini with the damage. They're both going to be super low after this, while Shiro is being dealt with by the Zai Pudge. They cannot bring this man down. Get all three. He's too big and too fat. This is not the target you want to be going on if you're LGE. No. This is a last pick Pudge. He's getting his passive off almost no matter what, unless you want to bring Doom to him. To know that they're not in the mid lane? Well, they gotta be somewhere else, right? Like, you know that Primal Beast is looking for kills. He's not far. Yeah, and counter kicking him is exactly what Liquid want to do here. The lineup arrives in that type of situation. 14 minute room. This looks familiar. 2v1. He's going to okay. 1v2 and maybe get a kill out of this. Doesn't get the Wisdom Rune. Hookshot goes out. Not quite enough damage, though. I respect that he still tried to... <laughs> yeah. He still tried to outclick two heroes on the rune. Or after you're gone. That, that is probably true, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Tier 1 tower going to be taken by Liquid. They seem comfortably in control. As, uh, they're they're going to be able to get Chain's Hook. That's actually a combo we maybe didn't talk about. Comboing up with the supports is nice. Uh, they're probably looking at Nisha bottom. Again, though, where off the line catches him from behind. They can get the doom on him. That is just raw skill right there, boys. Great play by Y. And securing a much needed kill because, again, that Roshan was being taken down. So uh, I think he now has an Aegis. I mean, he was out of control. He didn't have the streak to reflect it, but Nisha was 2 0 and 8 in this game. Yeah.
Uh, kind of unlucky for LGD actually that he didn't KS all these kills. Yeah, like, uh, seriously, good mid would do. But I guess he's just a better mid. With my shadow, they want to be able to take on four versus five. They know an Aegis on Morphling is kind of whatever, and the bigger factor is no Ember Spirit. If they don't have to fight the Ember, LGD very wisely will choose to take any fight they can get. And BKB up for NTS, so that control is no longer as good as it used to be between the clock and the ember anyway true pudge okay. damage not as effective here bottom tower is under liquid attack. looking for their own set of defensive items it's gonna be like the coil there. situation all over again no 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 i saw a neutral <laughs> token on the ground i swear i saw one Dyer's zero with the smoke they're gonna try and catch nisha again they've got an orchid Ooh, yeah that's that very heal baby nice. Boxy tries to respond, but the Orchid will last long enough, and Boxy might even die for it, too. Unfortunately, Sticky Bomb is a little bit off, and nothing to say. Can't uh, do much against that battery assault when it comes to chasing. Remember, this is Liquid Aegis. I'm deep in these fights. Zai is so formed. He is big. Big A. Oh, nice. Creeps some clearance for the hook shot. Nothing to say. Can't get out of it. Uses speed a little bit too late. Now he can't get out of the cogs because he's disarmed during that time. And Mickey will be able to finish him off. So finally able to put this agency to use. Mickey gets on the aggressive. That was very awkward from NTS. Yeah, a lot. I think he should live there. And techies. Okay, he's got to die, but you know. Not everybody can get out in these uh, four or five man moves from Liquid. No. And LG much rather have their core survive here. Randomly get jumped on by techies. Radiance middle it, it's oh, hard for oh, Liquid to Did they into. see that smoke? I don't think so. Yeah, done. Great setup, but is that going to be enough? The first, the pool, they got him. Arrow, they got him. Finish the first down mid game. Now it's just free. They're going to run down anybody they possibly can. Song to ensure they get as many of these kills as possible. They'll collect on both the support. Jump. LGD, massive smoke timing and jump. That Morphling bait did not go as planned. I mean, it's definitely a bait, but that Centaur stomp bypasses. That is the wrong time to give it up there. As you find the opening, everything connects from the vessel to the arrow. Extra star. Three very tanky cores. That's something to notice about LGD. We're talking about defensive items for Liquid. These are very tanky cores. You have to burst down, which means you need to get your heroes in there and abuse the BKB duration. Three of them up for Liquid. It is the golden hour here. You got to find a core connection off the smoke. High ground ward. This is a pretty good angle. It is pretty nice. And they wait for him through three of them with side jumping in. But new once again managed to get the stomp they in at the right time. The hooker's going to be able to bring back the techies into his death. The doom out on the morphling. The song. They're waiting out the BKB. Trying to catch up to this morphling. They finally got it hidden into the tree. Yeah, can't see oh, they can't find it. Not it's enough. And now he's going to be saved by Zippo. Sorry before nothing to say came through. The arrow's going to be off the mark. They have a pretty good freezing field out to LGD. Trying to get away with as many heroes as possible now. Now, BKB oh, oh, oh. teleports out, but a hook shot stops him. And they get a gem out of that. Two supports and NTS. That fight was just way too confusing for LGD. I don't know if they yeah. knew what the hell was going on. They bumped the Pudge who ate the Morphling up the hill. And then they just couldn't see him. There's no vision. Incredibly awkward there. They even got the Doom on to make it in the morph form, but it didn't matter. Liquid just pushing through with those tanky net defensive items, making them work, finding the opening on a high ground ward. That is all it takes. Now they're the ones hitting racks, despite Aegis still being up for Shiro here. LG, your turn to find an answer as the, the Pud Shard, it changed a lot of this team fight dynamic. Suddenly, you're gonna have to probably find Zai. Otherwise, he just eats a Doom Core, eats an Arrow Core, and what are you doing? You're just running out the clock. Yeah, they do have some like AOE stuns to kind of cover that, like blast off after they hit the arrow. But it is going to be almost entirely like maybe a bit of luck. You tries to follow it up. Big game pulled back by the hard box. He's going to be able to get a pretty nice cogs here, locking in a bunch of heroes. But I'm not sure if Liquid it really can take this fight. Mickey is in deep right now, but he can't save you. Oh, he does. The Moonlight Shadow wears out, and he finally gets the kill. Yeah, but what happens he's after? Now, and the arrow is going to be able to commit side. Back up, takes him inside of his belly and away to safety. Nisha pops back out with Mickey. They're gonna return fire here. Go for the Naga Siren. Go for the first light. BKBs are wearing out. This is Shiro's second life. Do you have enough gas in the tank to take this if you're liquid? You I don't know. Missing out on the stun, but hit him another the save. Hit him another save from Sai. They have to find this Pudge, man. This shard is way too valuable right now. It just ruins everything LGD want to do in these fights, which is go on a single court and burst him down for the save. 
That's, That's extremely key. Trank it aboard up. Did they get it? Yeah, they got the helmet. Got the save. Arrow puts through. Oh, the look at that blast off zone. They managed to catch him out. Now the doom gets placed on his eye. They want to make sure they're oh, safe. So there are buybacks. Got They've the expended a lot here. Are they going to be able to retreat out of this one? Looks like the Rod is going to be dying first. And Sania gets hit by the rocks as well. Trying to go for this kill, but not overcommit at the same time. And you can see PSG LGD have made the call to back up. They respect these buybacks. And they're going to give way to Team Liquid. In fact, teeping out entirely. Or not, actually. It's the team. Okay. 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 What's the catch? With the Silver Edge, he's going to be able to catch him out with the Marana Arrow. Turned into that one. Gets a pickoff on nothing to say. That's going to feel really bad because he does not have the buyback. No, that is likely Roshan for Liquid here. Unless LG can make some magic happen. Mickey just back in with the Just going though. again for the supports. Marana leaping away and the song. Yeah, it's a TP. It saves them. It's going to be a little bit dicey. The air it's not on the crew. Hook shot is going to be able to land. And now he's got to be aware of the hook. Gets off the mirror images, but they oh, do have trouble. a lot of AOE damage. He is in big time trouble. They've identified the real one. The illusions are gone. And he's dead. Shiro. He does have buyback, but this will not be a contest for Roshan for sure. Techie stun. Did work there with the AoE zoning, and then you caught him with a charge through, and then, yeah, that was a big deal as well. He gets off the BKB before the dismember. That'll help. He'll be, oh, he did not TP away successfully. The BKB just ran out, and the stun eventually kicked in from the adapted strike. That extra dismember duration. Tier 2 at the top, which I assume Mew is not going to buy back for. At this point, no. Unless, if Liquid Force don't, he would have bought, but look, LG are happy to give him Rack to save him through life. The Dekis, and there goes the buyback from you. Now that they've committed, they're going to try and take this fight. The dismember stopping Zai, holding him in place with the AoE Doom. It actually looks like it uh, got Lotus back. Yeah, it got bounced back onto him, so he doesn't feel good about running into this fight. Oh. And Jiro's in trouble. There's nobody to help him. The Doom can't go in. No, oh, what a denied by Boxy. Looked okay. like. Not sure what damage he was taking there, but Boxy sees the opportunity to get rid of his uh, offlaner. Hey. It's dangerous. You got really got to be able to pull yeah, a look fast at the smoke. 180. Look at the flank here from LGE. Yeah, they're gonna look for the back line. They want to make sure if they use this buyback on Naga Sire, they get as Lord. many kills as possible. And they're gonna start off. Shiva's out onto Boxy. Quick kill with the arrow should be possible. He's tanky though. The Glimmer Cape allows him to survive a while. Yeah, look what just out. This yeah. is not a play anymore. They got that Naga buyback, so they're probably happy with that. Honestly, yeah, I think they... They're going to choose to contest here. The buyback is coming back up for Doom, so he will have it. I feel like it's a similar situation. You need to get a fight and then get out. I don't think you can win this Roche entirely. Song goes out. Initiate. What are we doing with this? What are we doing with this? Arrow is going to be used on a box. They're going to try and blow him up real quickly. With the A we do, they pretty easily got him. Mickey is going to go for the supports on the side. Beware of that wave Look at that freezing deal. But unfortunately, the AoE Doom doing a lot of work here. Not getting so killed, but stopping a lot of the damage. Unfortunately, now that's run out. And now they're getting run over. Shiro, he's going to be the one. Oh, dodges the arrow. That's a nice play. But uh, I'm not sure if he's going to get away from Zai here. They thought he went down. But he actually went up to the right, into the trees. Pops the mirror image, but he's stuck in a corner. Way too much There's AOE. way too much AoE damage for him to deal with at this point. He will not be able to outheal this one. He's dead for two minutes. LG, last hurrah here. Mike stares you down. Zai right behind him. Ready to throw off the hook. Ready to blink it. Dismember save if needed. Start with a hex. Oh, missed. Actually hit a creep to spawn. And he's actually dying fast. Don't oh, get there in time, Zai. What happened? The creep spawn on the hook. Go for the AoE Doom. And this is an only thing that like a dead back to get that. That's right to get him down. But yeah, they're going to be able to run what? easily. What a slip up from Liquid. And the song goes out. I mean, are you buying your warp? Are you trying to retake this fight? They're going to try and go for the Ember, but they yeah, do. he can get off the Doom off of that one. They're going to buy back TP and, and LGD trying to get out of this one, but they can't get away. No getting They're out. locked down. As soon as Zai and Nisha turn around, and Sadie with the Freezing Field too. They couldn't get away from all that slow. A all primal buyback. It just came up literally one second here, so they technically have a fight, but the base is dying. Zai is just going straight in, putting his body on the line. Oh, he was just going to go for the throw. They can't not put the damage out to stop Liquid, they will take game one. Oh, that was an incredible death by Mickey. Yeah, with this series, that's what they're in. They're in the points, Avery. And if they're in the points, they're going to TI, guaranteed. Dang. A lot on the line. They're already down a game in the I mean, series.
Yeah, it's a time to show up or go home and play in China qualifiers, and then it's just are you gonna get damage done during that period? And what's gonna happen elsewhere on the map? El Planet going in. Yeah, he did. Dove in, and Mickey almost dead, and he will manage to get that first blood. In fact, Planet is gonna help deal with the Tombstone. Never mind. In fact, Mew, I think he's gonna be run yeah, down here. Meanwhile, they killed, nothing to say. Yeah, Insania did get that double kill off the Tombstone. So, yeah, I guess you got the first blood, but. Taking advantage of, and the extra Spear Breaker Roam hero that can really kick quickly pace. Already back to Shiro bottom. Oh, you left him alone? Lots of damage. I'll take advantage of that. Shiro doppelgangers, they found the real one. Well, they find the they did. Boxy, second guessing himself, does manage to get oh, caught by nothing to say. Who's gonna go for the double here? If he can get it, fantastic. Well worth his uh, time, but sadly a TP away from Zai. Or fake they know Shiro TP back here. This is a beautiful read. Pretty much a guaranteed Phantom Lancer kill. Yeah, no way he can really get away from this unless he manages to juke them out with an illusion. That pretty good. Yeah, the splitter, the TP's coming in. Unfortunately, the bash, and just again, the damage. You cannot get away from this Lush Ride. Bash. Triple teleport. Just to watch their carry die. I mean, they do have level six on nothing to say, so he can grab something here. Nisha is going to be able to turn around with split earth, though. Nothing to say. Charges through Boxy, gets the kill, and looks to get out. I mean, why is dead to the wolf? This isn't even level six for Zai. Oh, yeah. No completely body blocking a man planet. He's probably gonna die too. Nisha will be given the mana thanks to Insani having arcane boots already off of Very the nice early man. kills in lane. Breaker can charge you on the map. That's just the death sentence, right? Like the second liquid have more space than you to operate. They need a kill like this. Kicked off real badly. Stop Nick from getting his level good. six. Good execution. That hasn't yeah. happened. Please, can we please form a Dota team? Would you come out of retirement? I'm just saying you better you better have Kyle on your speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need new casting parts. <laughs> I mean, they smoke a lot of heroes up here. That's the lush they need for the kill. That's a good find for looking. Like Costa on the other side. Uh oh. Yeah, and Roxy. Right. Yeah. Three on that rune. LGD get a small punish, but that's definitely very favorable for Liquid as they're just farming every day. <laughs> I don't you can't. Fucking... Nobody in the world can. You know why? Because I don't. Nobody knows what Zero's supposed to do. Is he stealing mana? Is he empty mana? Is he supposed to have a lot of mana? Are you supposed to have a lot? Are you supposed to have a little? Is it an intelligence thing? Like, is he a universal? He maybe he could have been. Are you supposed to buy Atos? Are you supposed to buy Ix? Oh, with the a... Primal Beast? They're, okay, they're playing better. They're not that bad if you have the levels. Like Phoenix Silencer is a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Okay. Well, they didn't have the levels. Not until recently. No. Uh, but I agree. They're making it work way better than the last game with slightly different heroes. And it's just about being in the right place with the right again. Nether Strike. Pushes they're just him. not seeing where NTS is going. Shapeshift's going to be used to hunt down the supports here. Okay. Well, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, Phoenix Dyer's might be run down as well. It's gonna be hard for him to get this far away. Do you egg try and disappear into the trees? TP out, Split Earth is gonna be there to stop him. LG give up both supports to the Wolf ult. That's probably gonna be in another. Like Liquid's damage is not, is under attack. not too burst oriented. He kind of went the long fight with the Tombstone and the Lesh depleting his whole mana pool. Like you can save your initial go. With the auras here, let's see if it'll save him. He shows himself for a second. Pipe Global Silence gonna be used. Now the Bloodstone was also used on Nisha. Remember he has that Aegis Nether Strike gonna bump back the Silencer. The NBA not gonna be able to uh, can they protect it actually? Why this mouth does die to the creeps? And the egg is gonna successfully explode, getting the kill on its Dania. And the slam actually they're able to kill the uh, Aegis on the Lesh Drag. He doesn't Stone. have Bloodstone either, but maybe running out of damage. Shiro, he's trying to solve the back line. They finish up Boxy, trying to stay away from Nisha. Poke at him, now they can come back in low, and they go back in with nothing to say to stop that TP. He'll die for it, but boy, what a great fight for LGD. A great thunder for Mickey, but he didn't get on a hero. He went through an illusion. That means he's got nothing left in the tank except for maybe to kill Mew, but he can't get that a TP away. But no, the magic there is all. Zai TP is away, but he's also denied. What a fight from LG. That is not an easy fight at all. But the egg was just in too good of a position at early itemization, paying off here for LGD. They just need to win some. These early fights, I think they're going to be way more confident in this game. Lead is back down to zero. If you're liquid, you really need this next Roche, and you need to get a lot done with it. Yeah. I guess you can scale your Spear Breaker. Early. Boxy has found a lot of farm in this game. He's killed a lot of spiders, but Nisha, Nisha's dead again. Global Sound, Supernova, they know how important this last rank is to shutting down the Phantom Lancer. 
And as you said, that heart. he is going to get past the heart. Yeah, and you get into this really dangerous territory where you have like BKB Lincolns, and then you have the 25 talent, maybe even full of the 25 His talents. talents. are good. Yeah. Poke and Shiro down here. Nice choice there. Last second, you're to uh, make sure no nether strike. And now Boxy's being burned out of all of his mana. And he's just dying. This is a fight LG can take. You yeah, no, he's going to go for it. Lincoln's going to break. We've got the pulverize onto the last rank. They're going to start burning through Nisha's mana. They have to get back up. up. Shiro's still committing, though. Shiro's going for it. The Bloodstone Nisha. He no gets mana. Thunder to be able to help him out, but he's burned out of his mana. They're going to keep going. The charge on through into the tier threes. Oh, LGD. This is deep, but if you can get it, it's worth it. Nisha. They Pop won't his BKB get it. And they won't get it. And now now, PSG LGD, they get out they for free. They lost on the back to Zai, who wolfed in. And now and he's out of wolf form. Interesting he did not TP, I think. There was nothing to stop him. Yeah, very curious. Maybe he jumps to get wrong with me, but... I don't know, he'll sacrifice his life either way. It does get a support out of it. Forces LG to react to that instead. You're gonna have a hard time cutting down this big boy. And remember, all this push is happening while Y has been sitting on bottom. <laughs> As a silencer, he I mean, can commit the global to help, but this is 4v5 for LG. Honestly, he's gonna be worse. The, the poke is way too much right now. So, but then it left not have the initiation. Shiro's gonna force it. Yeah. Might as well. He's got the extra life. Charge on through. He's gonna hit you. No BKB this time. Yule Scepter gonna stop that bulldoze. It's called the MP is dead. Nice Yule pickup as well here, stopping the breaker. More control. Okay, okay. Uh, finally finish him off here. He has a buyback. Liquid. Still, maybe just. Gonna need all the resources. Seconds. Yeah, I'm like, you gonna give up this, this second lane because of the Aegis? Looking like it. Hold the buyback. Lane is cautious. Oh, oh, what a buyback. Wow. wow. Media charge out. Yeah, they want to force the fight when it's expiring. See if he can kill Y. Yule Scepter stops it. They have the global silence to be able to turn around here. Get out the tombstone. PFG LGD trying to get away from that one. The Scotty is slowing us down significantly here. But the Sunray, and they are having a hard time with damage. Nothing to say is not falling easily. News putting out the damage. Shiro's going for the backside, finishing off the Undying. Nothing to say is going to be able to skirt on by here. The Supernova's going to be used, and nothing to is say. Now with the Pulverize, the Supernova, it'll explode. The Egg dies, and now PSG LGD are in trouble without yes, that geez. extra bit of life. Shiro is still strong, though. Shiro, that's a hero you got to work out for. And look at him. They get on top of Mickey. Yes. Yes. There, Mickey gets a Yes. He's going for the kill on got him. Yes, but he gets the kill. Nothing to say. Kills them both and gets away. Shiro is now going to run down the rest of Liquid. There is nothing left in the tank. And TS never turns his back on a fight. And the reinitiation is beautiful this game. As LGD pull it back in game two. Had a very precarious one. Like, that felt like it could have gone either way. You know, Monkey Disruptor lane versus Tide. You have a really good Wukong gang. There's not much for Liquid to deal with it. But I think maybe Wukong part of the... gang. I like that. Part of the... Part of the um okay, never mind. <laughs> on behalf of storms My audio was going out, so yeah, part of that thirst. Power and up Mickey on the other That's side. True. Look at all those idol on kills. Whew. Sania is raking in the gold, man. He's got eleven CS. I'm sure all of it is idol on. Planet? Yeah. Oh. He's gonna die here. Glimpse back. Is that gonna be enough? It is. Enough to separate the two of them. Yu's gonna take a lot of damage though now as Mickey goes for that one. And Cena is low. And Cena is gonna get the kill on Planet. A lot. And they just set themselves up well, taking full advantage of it. It's gonna be that hammer for Zai. So if you start bleeding more kills down here, suddenly this Tide's gonna be taking your brood tower. Yu is not doing much better. Fight Nikkei underneath the tower. Planet. Opting to go for the glimpse. later glimpse to be able to get the turnaround kill, but not even that's gonna happen actually. Mickey is gonna commit to De correct to save him from the tower hits. Very smart. And Mickey should be able to get the last hits now to heal back up. around it. Yeah. Farm rate increases your, your presence. There's a world where carry flashed off an eight minute power route. Only hitting nothing to say. He's gonna turn around quickly with the focus fire and blast down the techies. He will similarly die though. Silence. As Disha able to do far too much damage, they get a two for one trade off. That root contest not going how LG wanted it as Liquid. Well, Finally, Liqu happened? Liquid's gonna do. Liquid's gonna do more. Think what happened in game two? What, what happened in game two is nothing to say. Actively went out and shut down Liquid. I feel like Liquid give up some key kickoffs. 
Yeah, Zai might be uh, one of them here. Ravage is going to be used hitting all four heroes, but they're going to keep chasing after him. I feel like that was not uh, a great Ravage, to be honest. Yeah, for Brick Wall not giving you a lot of openings, it's one of the strengths of this team. And I wonder if Liquid are just having troubles pushing through that. Normally, I feel like they would just be up 10k right now. All right, this game is over. Yeah, we'll see what they do with their next round of items. Double supports, Global Science instantly being used. Can they get the punish here? Static Storm, a lot of damage, but a lot of tankiness on this guy. They can't actually kill him. The is going to be used. New trying to catch up. More mines going off, maybe, but not quite good enough. Down. Black Hole on to Mickey, but Nisha zips through him to get the kill, and Mickey lives as a result. What a turnaround there from Nisha. Shiro's yeah, here to try and get he's... some sort of cleanup, but it's four heroes dead and Liquid. Yeah, but well, he's got a BKB, so they have to lead out with a stun. They cannot Static Storm him. Big close. Shackle first. Landed. And Black Hole. A great kill. Radiance middle tower. Get the hell out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Move. yeah you're out of there, boys. Good luck. Well, the gates continue to pay off for LG. That has been the one thing working. TP on him in immediately. Jump out from Nisha. Nothing to say. Locks him down. And Shackle shot. Gets out of there with the wind run. Doesn't get out of there. The Ravage to follow it up. And Nisha commits all his mana for this one. But it's well worth it. They're going to bring down two. Yeah, you got shield on top of the, the suck here. And that's just a too easy of an initiation for Zai. All the breathes on techies. Like, that, that is a huge team fight window right there. 25 minutes. You double down on those items. 25 is absolutely favorable for open right now. This is a lot of magic damage that nothing to say can do nothing about. Nothing to say is here farming this side of the map. He's just farming deeper than they expected. Now they have a scan on him. Nothing to say. Is he going to TP out in time? Oh, no. He's going to be found. Nothing to say. We'll try and fight back. But Nisha stands there. Thanks for the time. Oh, it wasn't enough. Mistimed it, right? Attempted to kill the Blood yeah. Seeker, but failed. The Mingo pick has not worked out at all for LGD. They had something else envisioned, but it was definitely not this type of game. Block the ring for Boxy. Why not? As they find you. Fresh side, a global and glimpse, but it's not good enough. A BKB from Nisha will net him two kills. And with Muse, Enigma down, and Roshan being up, that. You have five acts for Liquid. Do you even care? Yeah, you have a tier one tower <laughs> like, left in the off lane. You so I come back, I mean, they don't have to save him, but they're gonna find Zai, I believe. Back into the Static Storm, they're gonna fight all in the Tidehunter real quickly here, but the side of the vice is gonna stop a lot of the damage. BKB goes off, and they got no order. to say they have to fly. That's a good one. They get the Bloodseeker as well, but Nisha with this double damage oh, putting in serious work. Even if all the abilities go off successfully for BSG and LGD, it is easy cleanup for Liquid. Not nearly enough damage on this Bloodseeker. I mean, you finish off the Tide, there's no Ravage. And then you're in trouble. Didn't land the blast off it's either. That got sucked up in the black hole. GG is called. Wow. Dominant game. Very dominant game. Six kills for LGD in 33 minutes.